Hello, Rise. Have you had a good week? Have you enjoyed your half term if you've been off school? Have you been able to get outside a little bit? It's not been raining every day. So hopefully you've been able to play outside a little bit as well. Now, this week, we are going to start a new teaching series as we move into the um, time called Lent. And Lent is a time when we prepare ourselves for Easter, when we remember that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and that he rose again. And we'll talk about that a bit further on down the line. But today we're going to start a new series in the book of Genesis. Now, Genesis is right at the beginning of the Bible in the Old Testament. And we're going to be learning about a boy called Joseph. Now, I'm sure some of you will know this story already, but it's a really good story. And it's one that's really good to go over every now and then. Now, some maybe one week we might have a watch party and we might watch the um, there's a play about the story of Joseph. But we are going to focus on what is written in the Bible, in God's word. So this week, we're going to look at the beginning of this story, of the story of Joseph. So here we go. So Joseph was um, a boy, and he was about 17 years old. And his father was Jacob. Now, Jacob loved Joseph more than any of his other sons. Joseph had 11 brothers. Can you imagine having 11 brothers? And one day, Jacob gave Joseph a very special coat because he loved him so much. And this coat was full of lots of beautiful colours. It had stripes, it had zigzags, it had swirls. It was amazing. Joseph wore it all the time. And this made his brothers angry. His brothers were very jealous of Joseph and how much his father loved him. Now, I don't know about you, but you might sometimes feel that your mum or dad loves one of your brothers or sisters more than you. But I'm sure that's very much not true. Now, Joe, but Joseph's dad, Jacob, made it very clear that he loved him more than his other sons. So Joseph, one night, was in bed and he had a dream. And he dreamt that there were, he had a, um, a sheaf of corn, a bundle of corn, and he was in the field with his brothers farming. And all of his brothers' bundles of corn bowed down and worshipped Joseph's bundle of corn. The next day, he got up and he told his brothers, he said, I had this dream last night. I dreamt that your, we were in the field and your bundles of corn bowed down to mine. What do you think that means? Hmm. This made his brothers a bit angry and a bit jealous. And then the next day, he he got up and he said, I had another dream last night. And in this dream, the sun, the moon and the 11 stars were all bowing down to me. What do you think that means? So his brothers were very angry with this. They were very angry and very jealous. They were like, who do you think you are? What do you think you're doing saying all these things? Now, you might have been angry or jealous before we all get angry and jealous sometimes but I wonder how you react when you are angry or jealous do you shout at maybe your brother or sister if they've got something you don't want or do you stomp your foot or do you do something else so one day Joseph and his brothers were out in the field farming and his brothers were like right let's do something let's get rid of this brother this Joe don't like him so they decided they were going to kill him. So they took his coat and they threw him into a pit, into a well. And while they were in this pit and this well, while they decided how they were going to kill him, along came some Egyptian travellers. And they thought, hmm, we could make some money from these Egyptian travellers. We could sell Joseph as a slave, and get rid of him for good and tell dad that he's been killed. So that's what they did. They sold Joseph to these Egyptians 
and they took his coat and they dipped it in animal's blood and they tore it up and they told their father that he had been eaten by a wild animal. And his father was very, very sad. He was very upset at this news because his favourite son had been killed, or so he thought. But God had a plan for Joseph, and that's what we're going to find out about in the next few weeks. God's great plan for Joseph. When Joseph arrived in Egypt, he was sold to a very rich man called Potiphar, which is a bit of a funny name. We're not used to that sort of name. But Potiphar was a very rich man and very powerful. He was in control of a lot of things that happened in Egypt. And he was Potiphar's slave. So he worked in his house as his slave for a very long time. Now, I'm going to leave it there, leave you in suspense to find out what happens next. You might already know what happens next. You can also watch one of the YouTube videos below or the stories. There's loads of videos on YouTube of the story of Joseph. Some good, some not so good. So you might want to just use the ones that I've put down there for you, or you might be able to find something else as well. If you do find some really good resources, let me know, because it could be something that I've not found yet. So what can we learn from that story, from this part of the story? Well, first of all, we learn that Jacob, Joseph's dad, had a favourite son. And what I want to tell you is that God doesn't have favourites. God loves each of us equally. He couldn't love us any more. He couldn't love us any less. In fact, we are all God's favourite. God doesn't have a favourite um, son or daughter. He doesn't love any more of you, any any of you, any more than any of the others. And Joseph's dad, in making it known that J- um, that Joseph was his favourite son, caused a lot of hurt to his brothers, his his other sons, and they were angry and they were jealous. And I wonder how you respond when we get when you get angry and jealous, because I know I do. I sometimes get angry and jealous. And how do you respond? Do you stamp your foot? Do you cry? Do you have a tantrum? Or what should we do? We should take it to God. We should tell God how we're feeling. And I pray that this week that is something that we can learn to do. It's that we can take our thoughts and our feelings to God about how we're feeling in these situations. And I want you to remember that God has a plan. God has a plan for Joseph in all of this. God has a plan for you. God has a plan for the world in everything that's happening right now. We're going to pray. And I want you this week to really think about that plan that God has got for you and the fact that you are God's favourite. Father God, thank you that we are all your favourite, but also that you don't have favourites. Thank you that you can't, couldn't love any of us any more or any less than you do. Thank you for the plan that you have for each of us because you love us so much. God, thank you for the plan that you had for Joseph and for the story that um, Joseph has and Joseph brings to the Bible and the importance of that um, within the history of the Bible and the history of the world. Father, help us this week when we get angry and when we get jealous. Help us to feel... um, to respond in the right way. Help us not to stomp our feet or cry or have a tantrum, but help us to take it to you and take and help us to deal with that. God, I pray that you'll be with our children this week, that they will have a good week and they will enjoy their learning at home or at school or wherever they may be and look after them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if you didn't watch our Family Connect uh, video from Sunday, you can still, last Sunday, you can still find it on the YouTube channel. So feel free to find it and watch it if you still would like to. Otherwise, I will speak to you again soon. I will speak to you next week. Bye-bye.